Well, I just had a mini terrifying adventure. Um, why the fuck can't men just leave people alone? I mean, not just men. I guess women do this too. But what? Why? 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 Why can't you just leave a bitch alone? You know, like. Okay. Backstory: This phone has no internet. It's off. I have. It's not actually a phone. I download things to it that I can watch later. So right down the road is where I go to download things. There's a restaurant that has free Wi-Fi, and very close to it, there's a bus stop. It has benches and everything. It's convenient. So I'm down there. I had just uploaded the smile video that y'all are currently mocking. Thank you for that. And I was downloading a couple of videos to watch tonight. It's 12.30 in the morning, so there's not a whole lot of traffic. There's not really a whole lot of anything going on. A single car drives past me, turns around, and drives up to me parallel to the um, parking lot, the um, bus, bus stop where there's a man sleeping. And he yelled something out the window that I didn't hear because I had my headphones on. But it was clear he was trying to communicate with me. And I had my back turned to face the restaurant. I was in a well-lit area. I was literally sitting on a light post. <laughs> Could not be more well-lit. And so after he says something, right, and I know it's clearly for me, he drives on and pulls into the parking lot and I'm like nope I'm out and so I get up and walk in the opposite direction of the parking lot he's just driven into and like I assumed he circled around the parking lot and he was headed back to talk to me again so I dipped into another parking lot that was well lit and he pulled up on the road again and just started honking his horn at me like it was a fucking sonic drive through Prostitutes at the honk. You know? And I just kept moving. Ignoring him completely. Acting like, you know, don't even acknowledge it. Right? So I just keep moving. He circled around and tried to get my attention at least four times. Before I finally fucking lost him. After he pulled up again and honked. And yelled and then he took off to circle around again and while he was going the other direction I dipped into a dark alley and I ran for a little bit um, ducking ducking behind cars every time I saw headlights coming from the other direction because I didn't know if he had seen which alley I went down or not I was only like I, w I had to have been less than a mile from my apartment you know this is like a five minute walk away normally I don't know how long it took me I was scared to come back to my apartment because I was like well what if he did see me and he's gonna be following to see where I live right but I'm pretty sure he already knows where I live um I think this man has tried to flag me down before I think it's one of the people who watch me and possibly want me to suffer because they believe me to be something that I'm not thanks to the defamation and slander that I've been dealing with here so that's a lot of fun and it's definitely gonna keep me up tonight <laughs>